Hey folks, good morning, good morning, good morning. Rolling strong in this little Tesla chopper right here. No, we didn't buy it, but uh, this gentleman right here sort of replaced a ping my in it for our daily transportation needs. <coughs> Which is good because when you're on an electric trike, you can talk and you can hear us converse and hear the audio. When you're in a regular trike, you can't hear anything but that big engine. That engine. I'm going to say it's big. That loud engine. Anyhow, I'm taking a little first seat of school here. This boy's ready to go to school. Rolling with Filipino wife number two. The beautiful Fatima. Baby, ow. Can no abuse. Hashtag. Can we all just get along? Anyhow, folks, I thought I would say good morning to you. Don't know where this beautiful day is going to take us, but we are so blessed to be on this earth, still above ground, not in the concrete. I think about that every morning because there's two funeral parlors here. One on the right side of the aircraft. Let's see if you can take a look. There's one right there. And then I'll pan around here, and there's one right there. So every morning, we're reminded this it's a damn good day to still be alive on this earth, right? Yeah. Now, I've been me meaning to do a video uh, about how much does it cost to die in the Philippines. But Fatima doesn't want to cooperate and stop in those funeral parlors and start asking questions. Well, it's, you're superstitious, right? She's superstitious. She thinks if we go in there and just ask about the prices, somebody might die. So she don't want to cooperate. Of course, I need some type of translation. But, uh... What? Maybe I just want to find out how much it's going to cost to buy a coffin. You know, put, put you in the concrete. Not you, but put a person in the, in the concrete. The service, all this. Stuff. I need to find out. It's good information. You know? Right here, a hotel and like a little commercial building, right? You didn't see like this in there? Oh, I thought you were talking about the building for sale. No. Did you say like the, this, the they, they, have a, they have a seat in the back. Oh, we'll have to take a look. Yeah. So you said the, the foreign guy passed away? Not foreigner. Oh, local guy. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. I thought it was a foreign guy passed away. No, a local gentleman passed away, so the hotel is for sale. It's no longer in operation. It was an operation right up until he died, right? So if anybody wants to buy a hotel, there's one for sale. Apartments, uh, apartments, whatever it is. All right, rolling into the downtown area. Gotta stop by 7-Eleven, see if I can get a tune out of a trombone. Of course, G's first step when he goes to school, where does he go, baby? Canteen. Speak up. Canteen. He goes straight to the canteen. So let me give you a gander around here. There you go. Beautiful morning here in our little Mayberry town. And there's 7-Eleven, which is a center of gravity. Without the 7-Eleven, life would be difficult here, to say the least. All right, so we'll pull over to the side here. Or is he gonna swing it around? Let's see what he does. Okay, whoops, a U-turn like a champion. Let the canoe run into 7-Eleven. Hey, buddy. Papa loves you, man. All right. Or if you go with us, go go to 7-Eleven. So get a tune out of a trombone. Basically, folks, out of order. A lot of times in the PI, things will be out of order. So play a little game called ATM hunting. What you gonna get, buddy? Pick something out, man. Okay. Got the nips? All right, buddy. Sir, thank you very much, sir. All right, here we go, folks. Boris G, ready to go. Got him a pack of nips. Like I said, when he when he rolls into school, his first stop is a canteen for a pancake. And then lately, 
Lately, he's been on a gummy bear. They got gummy bears he likes to get. And as long as he stops by the canteen, right, he does pretty good all day, right? Yeah. But if for some reason the canteen is out of whatever he wants, he gets a little frustrated in class sometimes, right? So, Forrest G, if he's got a pancake, he's a good boy in class. Good job, buddy. This boy's ready. Man, you look so sharp in your uniform, buddy. loves to ride in the trike folks this boy loves to ride all right let's see if we can get a tune out of this one this is atm machine number two okay folks so drop the force little force g off at school he's so sweet he looked back at me like aren't you coming in too I'm like, no i gotta go buddy he was so sweet he's so just such a sweet child he, always looking around to see where you're at make sure you're, you're coming I'm not coming with you this morning. You still with mama. So he's in school. Now I got to go over to Magnolia, pick up a couple birds, a couple chickens. Hey, you know what? There's two chickens right here. I mean, there's, there's a place that we bought some chicken from right here. Where I like the ladies. Oh, I get the. I put you a right here. Get the bird right here. Here's a few people in line, but I think I'll be able to navigate it right here. All right, picked up two birds right there. Got me two birds for 460, something like that. 460. Anyhow, I got 500, 550 change. Anyhow, somewhere around there. So I got a couple birds. Looks like fried chicken for dinner after last night's imported pork from Denmark debacle which turned out to be basically a can of ground up pork liver so I was uh, I was yeah, I'm not I'm not a liver fan if you're a liver fan okay well you might be alright with that stuff in that can but if you don't like liver don't buy that imported pork from Denmark my gosh uh, anyhow folks just thought I would share the start of my day with you good morning mr. dog Good morning, Mr. Cow or Mrs. Cow with the baby calf over there. Because it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Forrest G. Sweet boy. Papa loves you, man. Hey guys, I got one here thinking about sleeping and one that don't even think. She just does it. She is a woman of action when it comes to sleeping. There used to be this used to be this character called Action Jackson, right? When, when, it, when it comes to sleeping, baby, you are definitely a woman of extreme action. Oh no. 